Go to the Settings app, then tap on General, and select Software Update. As you can see my iPhone 15 Plus is on the iOS 17.5.1 version. To install iOS 18 on your iPhone, you need to apply for the Apple Developer Program. Before applying, hey race the list of the iPhones that are eligible for the iOS 18 beta update. Now, swipe up to go to the home screen. Open Safari application, search for iOS 18 Apple Developer, and hit go. Tap on the first link of developer.apple.com, and you will find a download button on the top right. Tap on it, and you will have to sign in with your Apple ID and password. It will ask for your location, tap allow, and a six-digit verification code will be sent to your iPhone for two-factor authentication. Then tap on continue, tap on trust, and then Apple Developer Agreement page will pop up on the screen. Scroll down to go through, and then tap the box for confirmation. Tap on Yes to receive future developer updates and click Submit button. And then you will be eligible to install beta updates on your iPhone. Swipe from the bottom to switch to the Settings app. Scroll down to refresh the software update page, and there you go, Beta Updates option will pop up below the automatic updates. Tap on it, and select iOS 18 Developer Beta, and swipe back. The page will reload automatically and iOS 18 Beta Update will pop up on the screen. The update size came about 6.98 GB on my iPhone 15 Plus. Your update size may vary. Now tap on Update Now button, type your passcode, and it will start downloading the update on your iPhone. The download time will depend on your internet speed, so make sure you are connected to strong Wi-Fi network. After the iOS 18 download is complete, it will ask for Install Prompt. Tap on Install Now, and the iOS 18 installation will take place. After some time, Hello screen will pop up, then swipe up to open and you will be asked for your passcode. Type it and you will get a confirmation message of iOS 18 software on your iPhone. Tap on continue, tap on set up later, tap on continue again, and swipe up to go to the home screen. Just to confirm, I will go to the settings app and you will see that the menu has been changed. Tap on general and software update and you can see iOS 18 is being installed. Now let's swipe up to the home screen and see if there has been any new apps installed with the iOS 18 version and do some quick benchmarks. As you can see, Feedback and Passwords app has been installed on this iOS 18 version, which I will cover in depth in my next iOS 18 video. Now let's do some quick benchmarks with Geekbench and 3 d Mark. Both apps scored less points than the previous iOS 17.5.1, as I tested it before installing iOS 18 which is obvious since it's in the developer beta version. Also, I tested Wi-Fi speeds, which came about to be almost similar with the previous iOS version. Tap here to check out more in-depth videos on the iOS 18 settings on your iPhone. Also, subscribe to TechLoper for new upcoming iPhone videos and quality tech perks that works.